Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Profit Adapt for one more learning video tutorial. And uh, today uh, we are going to see that how we can place the order in Delta Exchange using the REST client API in Python. Okay, so I have already done videos related to Delta Exchange API. Uh, the configuration is this and how to get the product ID so these are two important videos which you need to watch which will be helpful to get your things started okay so if if I have to like you know first of all I need to uh, visit uh, the github pages or see the documentation pages from the python where I can check how to get with the uh, special order placement okay so we'll get some syntax so if I just uh, you know click on this stuff uh, we just try to uh, get with the docs okay so here the documentation is there you can go with the github page as well so everything is available so here one point is there they straight away have given like you know stop loss order not even market order and uh, even they have been not uh, clearly explain how to do this stuff so documentation is for sure for other stuff only to do these things but here i am to do it in simple manner okay so we'll explain you step by step so please do follow this carefully okay so we're definitely gonna check this stuff we will definitely gonna th take this stuff for sure okay and uh, i've already done some order placements especially uh, market order so if i have to say that uh, that uh, you know if i if you want to place uh, such order we need to get with these things so i think i've been locked out so just give me a minute i just uh, logged in and i'll show you the orders so i'm already logged in my account so it is very much easy if you have an android app and if you just scan these things you will be logged in so as you can see i've been placed on market order okay now there is a problem is there if you place market order there will be like you know maker fee and taker fee is there so if you place market order there will be taker fee will be there which is something 0 0.05 has been have been done for this order placement if it one lot size uh, with uh, you know limit price it could have 0 0.02 okay so you know for the suggestion you just try to go with the uh, limit order so i think that will be better so you know i just need to show you so i need to go with the small quantity and uh, my point is whenever you are doing for the testing do it with a small amount so that is very much important don't keep heavy amount if you are doing some kind of a testing or anything once you test and if you are running any kind of a strategy try to put amount which you are looking for then uh, go for your order placement and all. okay so here uh, one lot size market order placement has been done so we'll do it one more lot and then exactly with the limit price okay so uh you know delta rest client api so we need to follow all those stuff so it's better you watch this video so it will be helpful uh getting with the api key uh, configuration and getting the product ready and you can visit my website where i've been in this post i've been explained uh what you need to do so you can follow the instructions as well as the code okay so here i'm looking for the code where exactly i will get the id so i just get this code and we will go with our auto placement so just paste it and getting uh, the product id is what we are looking for uh, we are placing orders in futures so especially like uh, you know we will get this price and we will try to place limit order so definitely we can get from the ticker the product id as well as the limit price okay so we will say the mark underscore price so here i will say as a uh, you know product so i will give it the variable which sugar i am calling so just a product id and uh, second what we have to do is we have to say this as uh, you know mark underscore price okay which we can get from the response itself so we have to say response underscore mark price and uh, when we are doing this we need to make sure 
not everything is good so just uh, you know print this stuff and this definitely mark price will be in a string so first of all we just need to set in a float and we'll round this stuff okay so float and uh, you know straight away uh, you know string will be there so we can't round so here round comma one okay so let's see this what we got the product ID and mark price so as you can see from website is pasted we are ready to go so it is very much necessary to follow these things step by step so our product is 27 which is BTC USD and current right now the price is running around uh, this much okay so I think it is frequently changing so that you can take it from the tick data so I think that will be great and as of right now we are doing some limit order placement will be instant so I think we can go with these things okay so uh, if if the mark price is uh, like that uh, before rounding I can go with uh, like you know limit order placement with uh, like you know 300 rupees or 200 rupees or something like that okay so it's, it's, it's up to me that I want to go with the 10 rupees or something so that is also an instant order placement will be there and you will stay in a maker fee okay so you just uh, you know if you want to understand all those things I must say that open an account which you can check in my website uh, by getting with the tab and uh, you know just uh, try to open this online this Delta exchange which you can follow the URL and just open an account and if you do some trading you will understand the maker taker and uh, each and everything okay. so right now uh, if I have to Go with the order placement. We we'll definitely have to say order underscore response. Or otherwise, we can say certain stuff like you know. I'll just go with the copy and paste. So you can uh, do it from this stuff. Okay, this yes, straight away. Uh, but let's code this stuff. Okay, so order underscore response. Okay which I have to say, uh, uh, you know, one more thing, uh, delta underscore client is good, but here I have to refer the limit order or market order, okay. For that reason, I need to import uh, some stuff, okay. So I have to say from delta rest client, import order type. So we have to say import order type. Okay, this is important here. Otherwise, it will get you an error. Okay, so in this case, it is not shown, but this is how you need to do. So I've said delta client dot place underscore order. If anything else is there, you can follow the documentation. If you want to place like you know, stop order and even uh, trading stop loss is also there. This part and even stop loss is there. Okay, so that you can do. So I just have to give a parenthesis and uh, we can start with this thing. So I have to say, uh, you know, product underscore ID equals uh, the product ID for this uh, will be uh, the given product ID itself. Okay. So we can say the same stuff here. And with comma, we'll go with the next thing. Uh, which uh, will be our uh, you know side side so we definitely want to go with a buy and uh, size we have to give as in one lot okay and we need to put a comma and uh, next I need to mention the order type so I can say order underscore type plus uh, here we can give as an O capital order type and uh, market I want to place okay we can give it this way so we can refer for this syntax uh, if you go with these things you can go as a market order type this okay so size will be given side okay so if you're going with the market order this way you can go if i'm able to get the response it means 
we are good to go. And if his face has error, you know, to rectify. So let's do this stuff. Okay, so we are able to place the order. And as you can see, I think I have been placed one more order. So it is uh, two lot size. Okay, so two lot size is done. And uh, the order will be very much uh, super simple if you are doing for your uh, limit order. Okay, so here uh, I have to give a limit price. So all have to say limit underscore price. And uh, when we are doing this stuff, say suppose if I want to do some changes, okay, as in mark underscore price. So I just mentioned this stuff, mark underscore price, comma, and here, here I have to say limit. That's it. And we can easily can place market and limit order. So, and the best part will be, you know, if you go with the uh, limit order, I think that will be best. So if the price is, is reaches according to us, you will be able to place orders. So four, six, seven, five, uh, the price has been given, and uh, right now it is uh, running something else. So if it is get to that price, it will immediately place the order for you. Okay. So that is how you can see this stuff, and uh, a number of details are there, which you can check it out. If possible, I will discuss everything in a detail. Okay, and uh, I must say that one more thing is that, that uh, say suppose if you are adding the point where uh, you required a white list IP. Okay, so you can choose off your own, which is like, uh, you know, the uh, dynamic one will be there, which is getting changes. Okay, so you can choose that one to like, you know, for security reasons. And the secondary, if you want to take it as an uh, per, um, permanent or something, stay as of in this way. So you can create an AWS account for that. Also, you can watch the videos. Okay. So I suggest watch the previous video where I've been discussing detail all those stuff, uh, getting with the product ready. So do this stuff and go with the order placement. We'll definitely give you this code. So check the URL. Okay. And thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you have any doubt regarding this video. Please do comment below. If you have any other queries or requirements, please do contact me. Type my words. Thank you.